have a sunshine beard today. <laughs> Life tip from Kara on a Sunday morning. Don't spray perfume in your eye because it really hurts and then every 5-10 minutes it starts to sing again and it starts to water and everyone thinks you're crying. Yeah. Welcome to weekly vlog 16, nearly said 15. I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog. As always, I am going to work. Just popped to the little local on my lunch, picked up these beauties. Oh, they're so good. Cho Terry's chocolate orange is like my favourite. And I really want to have, don't know why, I'm really craving like a chocolate orange cake. I've never found a chocolate orange cake. Can you let me know if you know where to get a chocolate orange cake from? Because I want one. Or a recipe to one and I will make it. Either or. And I also got a Sprite. Because I wanted an appetizer but they didn't have any. So I had to get a Sprite instead. Good evening. I've just been home. I've been home for like 40 minutes and I've just replied to some of the comments on my vlog. Thank you if you've commented. Thank you if you have liked this week's vlog. And I decided while I eat dinner, I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. While I eat dinner, I'm going to start watching this The Missing series. I think that's what everyone's been talking about on like BBC. I don't know if I've watched series one before. So I'm going to start watching series one. If I have, I'll obviously move on to series two. But Everyone's raving about it and it sounds like something that I would really like. So I think I'm going to watch it while I eat my dinner. And I've got cottage pie for dinner. Although mum texted me and told me we had shepherd's pie and I was like, do we though? Do we have cottage pie? Does that bug anyone else? That really bugs me when someone's like, yeah, we've got shepherd's pie. I'm like, if you've got shepherd's pie, you've got lamb, mate. I think you've got cottage pie. <laughs> I don't know why that bugs me, but it really does. So yeah, I'm going to go eat my cottage pie and start watching The Missing. I hope I like it. I think I probably will. Look at this cuteness. There was only one clip of Aurora last week, so I feel like we need to have another clip of the little one. Look at her little paws. Oh, I love cat's feet and their noses. Cuteness. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good. If you haven't watched The Missing, you need to watch it. I got a message from Katie. I am going to go have a shower so that I can get into bed and binge watch a few more. <laughs> she's just sent me a message. Katie's a girl that I work with. Um, and she's just said, thought I messaged you this morning. Turns out it was a car I went to school with and haven't spoken to in years. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, I'm Liz. Hi, look. I think I'm making too much noise. Sorry, love. Did I wake you up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go have a shower so I can binge watch a few more episodes before I need to go to bed. It's so good. I don't understand why I didn't watch this when it first came out. Good morning. I really hope today goes as quickly as this morning has because my morning is like whizzed by. <laughs> um, I didn't manage to watch another episode of um, The Missing last night because I had a shower and then got distracted playing with a hamster and it was too late. So, And I'm going to Daniel's tonight so I'm not going to be able to watch it for ages. Oh no, that's all right. At least I've got something to watch now, haven't I, in my evenings. So, um, yeah. I work today, clearly, as you can tell, and nothing really to tell you. My life's pretty boring right now, like, very routine-y, the same thing every day. So I'm a bit stuck on, like, things to vlog. Yeah, I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury today. I really like it. I just put it on the bottom, then, and not on the top, and then, like, blended it out. So it's really subtle. I quite like it like this. Yeah, I really like it. Right, I need to go get my bus. So I will probably speak to you later. Stay warm. I've just got on the skirt and I think it's too short really. This is for work. I really like it. It's got pockets as well. You all know how much I like pockets. And the zip is gold, you see? I might buy it and then see what she says at work, whether it's too short or not, it is quite short. I'm gonna get it and see what she says because 20 quid is pretty good for a work skirt if you ask me. I just tried on the eight to see if the eight fits better. I can't do the eight up, but the six fits. I think they're size dropping, like look. I can't do the eight up, 
<laughs> but the six fit perfectly. What? Oh well, I'll get six then. Turns out the eight is actually a four. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> decided I'm just gonna go for the khaki jumper and the skirt um, the orange one fitted differently I don't know why but it felt like it did and then these just fit awful I definitely just walked into the car park and thought I'd lost my car I was like where is it I thought I parked it over there no car it's right in front of you idiot is that the moon or is that a light no oh, that's a light that would have been cool <laughs> work is done time to go I'm at Daniel's tonight and I get to choose what we're having for dinner so I'm trying to think what I want but I don't really know what I fancy maybe spaghetti bolognese yeah spaghetti bolognese some garlic bread wait did we have spaghetti bolognese last time I think we did oh no I'm gonna have to think of something else but I am really excited because Walking Dead has started again, so we have an episode of Walking Dead to watch, and I'm very excited about that. And I really hope it's good because I wasn't too impressed with the last season, so I really hope this one's good. Is this the last one, too? I don't know if this is the last season. Hmm, maybe. Right, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. I thought I would show you when I got to Daniel's last night. Um, he was like, Oh, I really, I just want to move everything around. I was like, Okay. So we went to Tesco's, got back from Tesco's with the, um, dinner, we had risotto by the way, and at about quarter past nine, we started to move the living room around. Uh, I don't know if you remember what it did look like, but you had the front, the front door, the door, and then you had this sofa along here, and that sofa along here, and then the TV in this corner, and his like computer and stuff in that corner. And now you walk in and it's so much more like open, there's like so much room. It's amazing. It's like a stepbrother moment. There's so much room for activities. It's great. Um, he needs to sort this table out. Uh, apart from that, it looks so much better in here. I look bored. I really, I look so tired as well. Wow. This is my jumper that I got yesterday, by the way, from H&M. Does this annoy anyone else? For some reason, this is a proper girl problem, by the way. I look so tired brilliant um anyway this is a proper girl problem by the way i don't look quite so bad in the window um all of my bras do this so i get a line it's really annoying it's why i tend to wear like sports bras a lot more which is because i find them a really really comfortable and b so much more flattering under certain clothes so yeah but i think when daniel is out of the shower he's in the shower we're gonna go to tesco's because he fancies tuna sandwich like a proper homemade tuna sandwich so we're going to go to Tesco's and get some tuna and bread and stuff to make a tuna sandwich. Also, I've been chewing my lip. Ugh. And now it's really annoying me. I always do that. Like, if I'm not feeling too good or I'm feeling anxious or anything like that, I chew my lip. It's very annoying. And usually they turn into ulcers. But yeah. But I'm really enjoying this jumper. I really like it. And look, I've got my non-holy jeans on. Yay. I decided to put my hair in some weird top knot thing instead because my ponytail is really annoying me. Oh, I'm just watching How to Train a Dragon while I wait for Daniel. One of our favourite films. We do love How to Train a Dragon. Oh, my hair just isn't going right today. It's really annoying me. And it's so thin around here. It's, <laughs> it's one of my like most self-conscious things is my hair because I just feel like I always look like I'm balding because it's so thin. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And I got an orangina as well because I really fancied it. Don't know why, but I did. So I got one too. Look how red my cheek is. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit hot. Um, In the same place I was like six hours ago. But me and Daniel went out and went to see his sister and her little baby boy, which was fun. He is like at that really cute age. He's like, how old is he now? He was one in May, but um, he's absolutely adorable now. Absolutely adore him. So we've just had dinner. We're eating, um, person of, we're eating? <laughs> we're watching Person of Interest. Dan's actually just gone to move his car. Like, what's wrong with my face? Um, I'm drinking some wine. That is not why my face is red. I don't go red when I drink wine. I think I'm just really hot. 
I look like an absolute mess. Yeah. He locked himself out. Today was the day I told myself that I was going to get over my fear of vlogging in public and I was going to vlog while I was outside and everything. Instead, here I am, sitting in my car, looking like a boy because you can't see my hair. <laughs> yeah, epic fail. Daniel is just about, well, Daniel started work 20 minutes ago. Um, I went into town to have a little look around the shop. So I went into Boots because I wanted to get some more shampoo. They didn't have what I liked, so didn't get anything there. Went into New Look to have a look. Nothing there. The New Look here in Newmarket is absolutely shocking. Like, they just don't get anything. Um, fun fact about me, I used to work there. It was one of my first jobs. I look like a boy. There is hair there, I promise. Um, yeah, it was one of my first jobs, so I used to work there. Then I went into TK Maxx because I saw last time I went in there they had some really nice beauty blenders and that's what I wanted to get from Boots. They've all gone. Um, so it was an, a failed trip all round. No vlogging in public and no purchases. So I went to Starbucks and I got myself one of those chocolate cream frappuccinos to make myself feel a bit better. It has made me feel a bit better, I'm not going to lie. But now I'm just going to go home and I don't really know what I'm going to do. I should probably film, to be honest. I'll probably talk to you later. Bye. It is much later now and I just wanted to say, I'm just about to go and um, reply to some comments on last week's videos. I just wanted to say a thank you to the response that you guys have given to the main video that I did last week. I was really nervous about putting it up because um, it's quite different to anything that I've done before or in a while anyway. Um, but the comments have been really, really, really nice and really supportive and I've also received some tweets as well. So thank you so much. You've boosted my confidence a little bit, which is always a nice thing to happen so i'm not the most confident person in the world that's definitely a fact uh so yeah i'm just gonna go and reply to some comments now so i love reading comments does anyone else get really excited when they get a comment <laughs> is that just me i get really excited also i've just been eating sweet corn so i don't know if there's sweet corn in my teeth but tonight me and mum even though we're kind of behind three weeks are still gonna watch the great british bake-off final because i'm like i know who goes there's no point watching i know who's in the final so might as well just watch the final <laughs> just makes a bit more sense than wasting time watching something you know is gonna go when you know who's gonna go that's what i'm trying to say i don't really know what i'm trying to say but yeah i thought i'd give you a little update on my day aurora is up on the windowsill you can see her butt also i'm trying to get through the rest of gilmore girls i'm on season seven what am i on let's have a look i'm on Loading, loading, loading. Season seven, episode six. So how many episodes have I got? I need to have finished it by the 25th of November because that is when the new one comes out. And I'm so excited. I watched the trailer the other day and I had the biggest smile on my face while I was watching it. It's 22 episodes. So I can do this in a month because you all know what my Netflix habit's like. So <laughs> it's an addiction, okay? I can't help it. Right now I'm just replying to comments and I've just been watching some YouTube videos. I just watched um, Gabriella's cover of Nile Horan's, Horan, is that how you say his name? I don't know, um, new song. Uh, I absolutely love her voice. Let's take this down a bit, it's very bright. I love her voice, it's such a pretty voice. Whenever I hear her sing, it makes me really miss singing. Like I think I wanna have lessons again, but it's finding somewhere, someone close to me and someone that's like good, that makes sense. Um, that's actually gonna help me improve. And I just don't know anyone around here anymore that does like, my arms ache really quickly today, that does that sort of thing, so. Yeah, I'm not sure, but oh, something I'm going to look into, I think. But, as I said, I'm going to go reply to comments now, because I've been talking for three minutes. I've decided it's time to paint my nails again. I didn't paint them for ages, They because they all started to break. Like, when like heating and stuff goes on, especially at work, um, the air gets really dry, my nails become really weak and, like, break really easy. Um, so I just, like, gave up wearing any sort of nail varnish, because it just kind of flaked off and there was no point i was like spending ages putting it on and it would just come off but have been nothing on for a few weeks has meant my nails have grown a bit more and they're back to like their healthy kind of stage so i'm gonna paint them again see how long it lasts and as it is october and pretty much halloween i'm going for black because let's be honest black is my favorite color of nail polish it just is it really is. I kind of want to get a grey as well though. I really like grey nails. I think they look really classy. But I don't have a grey so I'm going to have to go for black. And the one that I'm using is a Sensation Nail one and it's in Midnight. Midnight, are you going to focus on this? Probably not. 
Or we have to go old school. Come on. No, you're not even going to try. Cool. I promise you it's called Midnight and it's black. <laughs> All I can hear right now is my brother's music while he's in the shower. Although I probably play mine pretty loud when I'm in the shower, so I can't really moan much, can I? No. He is playing Paramore because that's his obsession. He loves Paramore. Done. Not quite in time. It is eight, but I think mum's just paused the TV, so don't miss it. Nice and black. Uh, look greasy because I've just put an oil on. I like to put like an oil on once I've done my nails. The one that I've been using is an Arbonne one. The conditioning oil. Look at this. From Arbonne. It's really good. I really like it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get some cake so that me and mum can watch Bake Off now. What I need to make sure I don't do is start picking at my nails. Because that's the reason I think why they don't last as long as they could do. Because I fiddle with my hands like when I've got nothing to do at work or or something like that I will like play with my nails and fiddle with them and I swear that's why my nails never last as long as they're meant to so I need to make sure I don't fiddle around and pick up my nails yay I'm look at my hair what is, what is this weird thing um, I'm really happy with who won the bake off I'm not going to say who it was because if you're anything like me you may not have watched it yet but I was really, really happy and I really think they deserve to win. Yay. Um, I'm now going to go have a shower and then I'm going to watch another episode of The Missing. I'm way behind. I'm still on season one. <laughs> so it's season two that's on TV now. So I'm going to try and catch up. Um, although I'm only on episode two of season one. But I'll try. <laughs> Hello, lovies. Happy. Friday, I keep thinking today's, no, it's Thursday, I keep thinking today's Friday, it's Thursday, um, I hope you had a good day, I've just got home from work, got back late because there was technical drama um, at the end of the day, I I hate technology, like, the tools at work drive me nuts, so now I'm stressing about that because I need to sort that out in the morning, so I'm not going to sleep very well tonight, and I slept so badly last night, like, I woke up at quarter to four and then didn't fall asleep till like five-ish so yeah and also I've woken up like with all of these weird spots blemishy type things on the side of my face and I don't know what it is but yeah the only thing I can think with that is I started using this again hold up let me let me let me get it because I was like what if I use that's new that would make Mm, I look nice. Let me do that. And I started using this again. It's the Tea Tree um, Blemish Fade Night Lotion. I started using that again, and then and then that's when I started like this sort of thing started to appear. But it's got really bad today. Look at that. But yeah, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna take my makeup straight off. I think. Um, see if that helps at all. Can we maybe not be red? That would be great. Hmm. Um, not quite sure why I've gone red. This is wonderful. I look possessed. Ah, huh? there we go. Um, so yeah, just got home from work. Late because of the technical drama, but yeah, I hate when things like that happen though, because I I'm now like gonna fret about it all night until it's sorted in the morning. Oh. Anyway. I need to eat some dinner because I'm really hungry. I need to clean the hamster out because she needs a, a wash. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, I went into Boots today and I picked up some more beauty blenders. Love it. I'm going to turn my brightness down. It's not doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. Yeah, I bought some beauty blenders. I needed a new one and I was like, I might as well get two because it works out cheaper. And I got some more of these... Cool. Oh, got some more of these clear elastics. Literally, these are like bobby pins, and they just vanish. And I literally had hundreds. This is a bag of 150, like a box of 150, um, and they've all gone. But this one comes in like a little plastic pot. Look. So I've got something to store them in. So hopefully, I won't lose these ones. I probably will. But hopefully I won't. Nails are still going strong. Haven't picked them. We're still good. Although I had to redo this one. Because I'm not swearing. It's my ring finger. Um, because 
my nail broke underneath which then meant the gel came off the top annoying right i'm gonna stop babbling because i really need to eat something dinner eaten i was lazy and had cereal because i just couldn't be bothered um hamster cleaned out makeup removed and i've decided it is time for me to try this because i keep putting it off and i just need to try it so i thought i would try it with you so it comes with three steps we've got the pour, the deep pore serum softener here, the actual carbon mask, and the treatment to put on afterwards. So let's give this a go, shall we? Please excuse how bad my skin is right now. Okay, so step one it says warm spa. So clean your face before using, use a hot slash warm towel, place in your skin to open your pores. I've actually just washed my face, but I will make it well again. I'm nervous about doing this. I think I'm gonna do it on my chin, on my nose, and like in between my eyes, because that's where I get the blackheads all the time. Okay, face is wet and warm. Then it says, apply solution one on the skin, massage for three minutes, then leave for two to three minutes to soften the acne and then wash out solution one with warm water. This is gonna be a long process, isn't it? Okay, one. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to use. Does it tell me? No. Cool, I'm gonna go with that much. <laughs> no idea if that is what. Massage it in. It smells quite nice, not gonna lie. I have to massage it for three minutes. This is this is longer than I thought. <laughs> Actually, this is really soothing if you've got a headache, which I currently have. <laughs> okay, my battery is flashing, so I'm going to get on with this, charge the battery for a bit, and I will be back with you when we're ready for the next step. Good morning. I am very much looking forward to today being over, um, because I have to finish sorting out the problems that we had yesterday. I hate sorting out things like this just stresses me out because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. There's also a wasp trying to get behind my wing mirror right now. I don't know if it's alive. I think it may be stuck in the spider's web that is there because I really need to wash my car. <laughs> hmm. Oh, um, the carbon mask thing last night was kind of a fail. A, I forgot to film the rest of it. You look scratched. Are you scratched? Maybe you're not. Um, A, I forgot. It's very bright outside, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> A, I forgot to film the rest of it. B, either I didn't have any blackheads anyway, or it's just rubbish, because it got nothing out. And C, I don't think I left it to dry long enough. It was taking ages, and I was like, I just want to go to bed, because I put it on at 9 p.m. I was like, mm, maybe I need to try it again, and give myself more time, and like try and let it dry completely, because I think that is what the problem was. I feel really anxious about going to work. I just, oh my goodness, I hate doing this sort of thing. This is when I really hate my job. That's an exaggeration. Not I hate my job, but I hate having the responsibility of it because if anything goes wrong, it kind of falls back on me and I don't like that responsibility. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. I'm hoping everything else goes okay today because I can't deal with any more drama. I just wanted these three days to be like really nice, easy days. So that then I can just go off on my little 13 day off thing and not worry, but no. No, I had to go wrong, didn't it? Also, I have I have an ulcer right there. It really hurts. This one is my own fault because I did bite my lip, but it's really annoying me. It's in one of those really annoying places that you can just constantly like feel it. You're currently sat inside my locker and it is five to six and the problem from this morning and last night still not solved i tell you what i'm so excited to go home today and just have a bath and just relax it's days like this i really just don't like my responsibility at all i don't like it when things like fall back on me yeah 
I better go shut the shop really. <laughs> so good job I remembered these this morning because no one's home. I, I was just getting my bag, I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot my house keys, I didn't bring my house keys because the front door was unlocked this morning so I didn't need to unlock it and normally I do. So I was like, did I put them in my bag? I did, I can get in the house. So let's unplug everything. Unplugged, unplugged. Unplugged. Ugh. Car keys. Oh, it's so dark now. Yeah, so everyone is out. I was definitely about to try and lock my car with my house key. I think I need an early night tonight. Um, everyone is out. My mum and stepdad are helping my grandma move house. And Chris is at the cinema. Because he has more of a social life than I do. Um, oh my goodness, this is really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> really struggling um so yeah i'm all alone what do i have for dinner i do not know why is my light not going out you gonna go out why do i feel like that light isn't gonna go out come back and turn it off in a minute <laughs> right let's find something for dinner shall we oh by the way work issues still not sorted um Heather is gonna have to sort that one out tomorrow and what else is I gonna tell you oh yeah one more day and then there's darkness oh and then I have 13 days off work and I'm so excited for these 13 days. Let's check my car light. Has it gone off? No, it's still on. I'm going to have to go turn it off. Oh, hello, cat. Hi, y'all. Hello, did you miss me? Do you hate me? You gonna, you gonna say hi or are you just gonna... She hates me right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go turn my car light on. I really need to get my eyes tested because they've started really hurting like in lights and things and I've got um, quite sensitive eyes. What did, I was told by the optician once that my eyes let in too much light so I get headaches and things with bright lights. So I need to go get my eyes tested because they're really starting to do that again. I bought the new Real Techniques things yesterday because look at this one. It's disgusting and it needs to go in the bin. It's in the bin. And I need to decide what I want for dinner. And quickly because I'm really hungry. I was going to wash my hair tonight. But I've decided, because I'm going to London on Sunday. Um, to see the wonderful Pippa. Um, and I think we're going to film. So if I wash it tonight it will have to be up on Sunday. And I don't really want it up on Sunday. So I'm going to leave it um and shove it on top of my head tomorrow and then wash it mm, that's a that's a good look isn't it um and then wash it on wash it tomorrow night so that it is nice for sunday and i can have it down on sunday yeah i really 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 need to get it cut too like really badly it's so ratty at the end it's awful Ugh. Yucky. So instead of washing my hair, I'm going to. Oh, should I have a bath? Maybe I'll have a bath. Mm. Then I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to have an early night because I'm so tired. And the time now is. It's 20 past 8. So if I have my bath now, I can be out of the bath by like 9, quarter past 9. I can be in bed by 10. That is an early night for me. So I think I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I quite like this hair, you know. Wild hair. Comfy on my head, it's not tight on it. <laughs> Sometimes I get like headaches because I have my hair up too long. Do you ever get that? Do you ever get a hair up headache? I, think I get them quite often these days because I can just shove my hair on my head because I don't really like it right now. But yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna have a bath. Mm-mm. 
I have no idea if you're going to stay there. Probably not. Ah! No. <laughs> Good evening, my lovely ones. Today has been kind of manic, so I hadn't, hadn't, haven't had a chance to vlog anything or anything like that. It's been kind of crazy at work. Um, we had an event on and then the bus was late, it's Saturday if it was on, so we ended up getting a taxi um, with a really lovely husband and his wife and his little girl and he was really sweet and he paid for our taxi and just said put some money to charity so I'm going to give some money to charity um, when I get the chance to, which was really really sweet uh, so yeah, I'm, it's now like, it's 8 o'clock and I've just got in so I obviously need to get on with editing the vlog so sadly I'm not going to be able to show you much Saturday because it's already happened but I did want to show you I got a new shampoo and conditioner today I want, I've wanted to get this well I've wanted to get one from this brand for a while um, but I'm a bit funny and if I go in somewhere and like like this is from John, it's from Avida and it's from John Lewis because we're the same place we have and if I go in somewhere and like the girls are just like talking to themselves I'm like Okay, I'm not, I'm just a bit of a snob like that. I think because I work in retail, I just get a bit funny and I'm like, come on, <laughs> do your job, mate, do your job. So, um, I actually didn't stay and they spoke to me and I got the Pure Abundance Volumising Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, and it's a volumising clay conditioner, so I don't know what that means, but I'm really excited to try it. It was a little bit pricey, but hopefully it is worth a little bit of extra money so we'll see so i'm excited to wash my hair today does anyone else get like that when they get a new shampoo and conditioner or like a new foundation or anything like that they get really excited to use it because i do <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna sign off the vlog here i hope you've had a good week i hope you have enjoyed the vlog um question of the week is i need to start thinking of these before the end of the week seeing as it's halloween did i ask last week what you're dressing up for, for halloween no Question of the week. What are you dressing up as for Halloween this year? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss next week's vlog. And there's a little giveaway coming up very, very soon. So I will see you next week. Goodbye.